One of the last major transformations that we can focus on are reflecting transformations. In these types of transformations, you either flip it over the x-axis or the y-axis to get your new function. To apply a reflecting transformation, it's as simple as putting a negative sign either on the outside or the inside. When you put that negative sign on the outside of your function, this affects things in the vertical direction so it flips it right over the x-axis. When you put the negative sign on the inside of the function, or it affects it in the horizontal direction, so it flips it right over the y-axis. We'll take a look at two examples so you can get an idea of what I mean by flipping over the x or flipping over the y. For my example, we are going to graph a negative e to the x and e to the negative x. In both of these examples, I would consider my parent function e to the x. So I'm going to start off by graphing that. In this exponential function, I know that it starts off nice and small, goes through 1, and then grows really quickly. Let's go ahead and put in those key features. So I know it goes through here. It's going to be a little bit larger than 2 by the time it hits there. And, well, it's probably going to be off the chart by the time it hits 2. So let's see. It's nice and small. All right, so that is my graph of e to the x. This first one, I can see that I've put a negative sign on the outside. So the big effect that this has is it really takes all of our y values and now just multiplies them by a negative. Let's see some key y values that we have. So here's one at 1. Now this will be at negative 1. This one looks like it's a little bit larger than 2, so now it's going to be a little bit larger than negative 2. This one's way up here almost about 10, so I'll put that one almost at about 10 as well. So this one will hug really close to the x-axis, but just on the other side. Then it will go down very quickly. So it looks almost exactly the same, it's just been flipped over that x-axis. In the next example, we can see that I've now placed the negative sign directly next to the x. That's our clue that this is an inside transformation. So in this one, we are going to flip it over the y-axis. Another good way that we can see this is imagine taking all of our x values and multiplying them by a negative. All right, so normally these values get multiplied by negative. They are now over on this side. So we have this little tail getting really close to the axes. Okay, notice how the x value here is 0, and when you multiply that by 0, it's in the same spot, 0. So I have an x value here right before 1. Now it's going to be right before, oops, right before 1 over here. Let's see, and this guy's going to be way up here near 10. There we are. So again, a very similar shape, but this one has been flipped over the y-axis. So this is a very simple transformation. Just make sure you're flipping it in the right direction.